The French company by the name of Stanley Robotics has been developing a new kind of robot that parks cars, called the valet parking robot. Life is like one big car park. There are the clumsy ones, but also the opportunist. Those who take up a lot of space and those who can't seem to find a space of their own. And then there are the visionaries. Those for whom time is very precious. For whom comfort means simplicity. And who always keep an eye to the future. The robotic system works like this. Customers park their cars in special hangars, where the vehicles are scanned to confirm their make and model. Then one of the robots, which are essentially self-driving forklifts, drives in, slides a platform underneath the vehicle, lifts it up by the wheels, and carries it away and parks it. The robot uses the same technology as self-driving cars, and is able to scan its environment and react to anything that would be in its way. The company says the robot uses space much more efficiently than humans, parking 50% more cars in the same area. This is thanks in part to the robot's precision driving, but also because the system keeps track of when customers will return. This means the robot can park cars three or four deep, and then at the right time, can dig out the right vehicle ready for its owner's return. The main benefit of a valet parking robot is unlike a human, the robot doesn't need to get in and out of the car, so there's no need for room on either side of the vehicle. This means the cars can be packed in tighter together. That means you could replace 6,000 traditional human car parking spots with 8,500 spots maintained by robot valets without increasing the parking lot area itself and in 2019 started its first full-time service at the Lyon airport in France. Currently, the valet parking robots don't operate in all parking locations around the airport, just one section at this stage. This section covers 500 parking spaces, which will be serviced by four robots who will be able to park and retrieve up to 200 cars each day. The company said, Humans would be used to supervise the robots, secure the operations, and track any malfunctions in real time. But in the future, the supervision will be done remotely. Now to give you an idea of the cost to use the system, it costs 54 euro to park for a week in the least expensive lot the furthest away from the airport terminals, or 56 euro to use the service of the valet parking robot. Now we don't have this system in Australia yet, but hopefully one day we will. Think of the hassle-free parking using this system. Plus think of how many people have come back to their parked cars and found someone has backed into it and not left a note telling you who did it. This would alleviate that stress of finding your car damaged after coming back from a relaxing holiday. As I don't know about you, but this has happened to me. So anything that can reduce random unknown damage to a car in a parking lot is a welcome change. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.